area under this red graph and time axis is also 90 kilometer. Students, today we will do one conceptual problem from the chapter of kinematics. This question is not very difficult, but it is really very conceptual. Let us have a look at the problem. Train A crosses station S1 traveling at a speed of 100 km per hour. It maintains its speed for 48 minutes and then retards uniformly to halt at station S2. The train took one hour in completing the journey. Another train B starts from a station S1, accelerates uniformly for some time and then retards for the remaining time to stop at station S2. Train B also takes one hour in completing the journey. Find the top speed attained by train B. So, this is the question. Uh, there are two stations, uh, S1 and S2. S1 and S2 are two stations. There is one train, train A, which is traveling at a constant speed of 100 km per hour and it crosses a station S1 at some time. Train A crosses a station S1 traveling at a speed of 100 km per hour. It maintains its speed of 100 km per hour for 48 minutes and then the driver applies brakes and ultimately the train stops at a station S2, right? This is what the question says. And this train took one hour in completing the journey from a station S1 to S2. Actually, for train A, S1 is not a station because train A does not uh, come to rest at this point. It just crosses through this station, right? So, it is not a station. So, the train A crosses through this small station S1 and it ultimately stops at S2. It travels at a constant velocity of 100 km per hour for 48 minutes, applies brakes and then comes to rest at S2 and the total travel time between S1 and S2 is 1 hour. I think this is clear. Now, the question talks about some other train B. The train B starts from station S1, accelerates uniformly for some time, then retards for the remaining time to stop at station S2. There is another train, S, S train B. It starts moving from station S1, accelerates for some time, then retards for some time and ultimately comes to halt at a station S2. The question says that this train also takes one hour in completing the journey. Find the top speed of this second train B. It is something like, uh, think of two trains on parallel tracks. One train is about to start from this station when the first train crosses through this station. So, both actually uh, start at the same time. This starts with zero initial velocity, this is traveling at 100 and both of them reach station S2 in one hour. Both of them uh, reach and stop at a station S2 after one hour. That is the question, what is the top speed of train B? You have to find it out. Give it a try. I am sure if you try it, you will be able to do it. Uh, I have tried to, somebody has actually tried to create an animation, though it is not very good, I have seen it. <laughs> but still, this is what is happening. Uh, this train comes, the top train, uh, the train zone here, this crosses through station S1 traveling at some speed and this train starts from here, it gains speed and then it retards and ultimately both the train stop at a station S2 in one hour time. This is what has happened. We have to find the maximum speed of this train. This question of course can be solved otherwise also, but it is solved e in easiest possible way if you draw the velocity time graph of the two trains. Yes, uh, among all the graphs that you see in kinematics, VT graph is the most important graph because uh, it literally contains every piece of information about the motion uh, in one single graph. VT graph velocity is already there as a function of time. Area of the graph gives displacement. VT graph, area under the graph and time axis is displacement and the slope is uh, giving you the acceleration. So, every aspect of motion is uh, can be identified if you are having a good VT graph. So, this question can be solved very easily in few steps if you draw the velocity time graph of the two trains. This is the time axis. I will keep time in R only. I will measure time in R only. This velocity axis we will 
measure velocity in kilometer per hour. I am so sorry, it is not meter per second, it is kilometer per hour, let it be kilometer per hour. Time is in hour and velocity is in kilometer per hour. So, this is the first train uh, which moves at a constant velocity of 100 kilometer per hour for 48 minute. 48 minute is 4 by 5 of an hour, is not it? Uh, 0.8 hour. Okay. So, this train, uh, first train, it keeps moving at a constant velocity of 100 kilometer per hour uh, for 48 minutes. So, 48 minutes is 4 by 5 hour and its speed was 100 kilometer per hour during this period. In next 12 minutes, in next 12 minutes, the train retards as the question says, it retards uniformly and retards to come to rest at a station S2. So, its velocity finally is 0. This is Vt graph. Velocity reduces from 100 to 0 in this 12 minutes. So, the total time is 1 hour, right. Uh, what about uh, this is 100 kilometer per hour? What about the total distance between S1 and S2? Uh, I guess all of you must have uh, understood by now that just calculating the area of this graph will give us the distance between the station S1 and S2 and it can be done very easily. Uh, this rectangle, this rectangle has area of uh, 4 by 5 into 100, this is 4 by 5 into 100. So, it is in kilometer per hour, this is in hour. So, the area gives you displacement in kilometer and then this is triangle half into base into height. So, half into base, base is 1 by 5 hour, height is 100 kilometer per hour. So, the total area of this rectangle plus this triangle turns out to be 90 kilometer, which means distance between a station and S1 and S2 is 90 kilometer. That is the first thing that we have figured out. Now, on the same graph, on the same graph paper, on the same set of axes, I am going to plot velocity time graph for the second train. Uh, how has the second train moved? It is started from 0 initial velocity, accelerated for some time its velocity kept on increasing and because uh, the acceleration is constant uniform, Vt graph is always a straight line. So, this train attained a top speed somewhere after uh, some time which I do not know of course, uh, let that top speed be u and then the train applies brake and ultimately it comes to rest, its velocity decreases, becomes 0 and according to the question, the train comes to rest after 1 hour and in 1 hour, the displacement of this second train is also 100 kilometer, which means area under this red graph and time axis is also 90 kilometer, is not it? Because it has traveled from station S1 to S2 in 1 hour and distance between S1 and S2 is 90 kilometer only. So, if I assume that the top speed of this particular train is u, this is speed is u, uh, one can easily understand that this area has to be equal to 90 kilometer there is a triangle. So, half into base into height, half into height into base, base is 1 hour, this should be equal to 90 and therefore, we get the value of top speed as 100 kilometer per hour or oh, 180 kilometer per hour, I am so sorry. <coughs> so, this solves the question. So, once you understand that V t graph is uh, crucial and it can uh, actually uh, give you a speedy solution to the problem, the problem was fairly easy. So, students uh, see you in the next video with some more questions, some more concepts. Keep watching the video, keep liking it, keep sharing it. Goodbye.